Hey guys, today I don't have a gun to show you, but don't go away because I do have two very rare discs from the Third Reich. Stay tuned and I promise you're gonna learn something new. So we have two discs here. Uh, one, the silver colored one is a Gestapo disc or secret police, state security. And this one is a Kripo police or criminal police, police detective. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about uh, both of these. This is the rarer of the two, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Well, there are fewer of them, but there's another reason they're pretty rare. Um, so I'm gonna talk about this one first. So this first one is a Gestapo disc. These were identi and identity discs. They did come with a chain, but you hardly ever see them with the chain. Uh, basically, this would, uh, like a pocket watch, this would go on your belt loop, and then this would go in your pocket. And so when you would identify yourself to an official or a guard post or a checkpoint or even coming into somebody's home, you would show them your disc. And this, this has basically, this is Gestapo State Police and then a number, and that was like your police number, your badge number, and this would identify you. Now, the reason these are so rare is because if you were in the Gestapo at the end of the war and you were in the Russian sector or the Russians were closing in, you did not want to be captured with one of these in your pocket. Uh, let's just say you probably wouldn't see the end of that day. Uh, now, the American side, the Allied side, uh, they were not nice to the Gestapo either, but they would probably bring you in for interrogation and things like that, and it may not have a happy ending, uh, depending on what unit you went to. So at the end of the war, the Gestapo agents, of course, typically would throw these in the river. So that's why these are so rare. And I'll give you an idea of rarity. I usually don't give prices, but I don't collect these. I know people who do. And so when we listed this at about $9,000, it lasted for about a minute and a half. And we had a number of other people say, do you have any more? Of course, they are faked, um, but I, I always get them authenticated. And the person who wrote the Bible on these is actually Don Bible. It's easy to remember. Who wrote the Bible on discs? And there's uh, different kinds of discs. I'm actually going to get one of these uh, Bavarian discs in. And then the criminal disc and the Gestapo disc. But Don Bible wrote a book on this. And he certifies that this number, and he uh, basically says that it's authentic and gives a little bit of information. It was known as the Gestapo, uh, and that's who it was issued to. Now, who would, this seems like a pretty dark history. Who would want to collect something like this? Well, first of all, rarity is important. So that anybody who likes something rare, one of a kind, or very hard to find, they would collect it. But also, you know, I, the analogy I would give you, if I had the opportunity to buy Al Capone's gun, even though he probably used it for dark purposes, I still would be interested. As a gun collector, I, I think it's infamous. Actually, Jack Ruby's gun was offered at auction recently and went for a lot of money. Jo uh, uh, Jack Ruby was the guy who shot Oswald, who of course shot JFK. So uh, just by association, it was very valuable. Uh, and again, these have a dark history, Gestapo discs, but uh, they are very collectible and they do sell for a lot of money. Now, uh, I want to talk about the Kripo disc or criminal police. So this side is very similar. You see the Nazi eagle and swastika. And on the other side, uh, this one has uh, the state criminal police. And there's a number there as well. So there's more of these. And even though the criminal detectives wanted to throw away their discs, uh, sometimes uh, they would be captured and they'd still have their disc or they survived the war and kept it. And now their families are selling them off. Both of these came out of Germany, I believe. Uh, the uh, person that I got them from, I believe, got them from Germany. Uh, but remember I said you would learn something? That's because I learned something about this. I do know these uh, discs, but this is one of only 12 known to actually have a picture and the name of the person who carried it. Again, there's only 12 known. Now, we've sold probably a half a dozen of these disc only. The chain is missing, and it, it would and typically, this is a, a brass color, uh, but it would have a, a chain with it as well. The chain is missing from this one, but one of 12 
according to Don Bible, where we have the identity, the picture, and a little bit about the man who carried this. Now, you might say this must have been a bad dude, but actually, if you can read that, he was from Bad Pyramont. Now, I did look that up, and that's right in the center of Germany. It's a, a nice cultural area. They do tours there, and I think there's Roman baths and different. It's an idyllic, uh, beautiful town. Uh, I'm sure Randy will sign, find some. Randy or Logan will find some pictures of this town. So he was in the criminal police in this town. Now, we also have some other documents that I want to show you. So we have his identity number. You see 9945, and... Here is his name. It actually looks like a Polish name, uh, but pro there was a lot of Polish uh, German descent in that uh, Eastern German area. And his name you can see right here. I'm just gonna say Heinrich. <laughs> uh, and criminal, and this word is like secretary or administrator. So in the name of the Fuhrer, this basically said, this is who he is, this is his certificate. I guess it would be like his uh, license, uh, he was certified, and when I see uh, criminal secretary or administration, it doesn't, he, he was not out uh, banging down doors, but in fact, uh, the more I read, it seems like he worked in the criminal lab. So like NCIS, he was in the crime lab. So he was probably a highly, uh, highly educated person. So this document indicates he, uh, this is the man. He worked uh, in the criminal administration building. This was like a certificate that might hang on the wall saying that actually it was in his folder. You can see that it was punched for a folder. And this is his qualification. Uh, it's approved. And this is in January of 1941. Must have been when he, was, when he started. We also have this at the end of the war. There's a second document. So this is Heinrich. There's Heinrich. Same person. There's the name of the town. It's also sound, uh, signed by the mayor of the town. So he worked for that the city. Uh, Burgermeister, that's the mayor of the town. Same town. And this is his uh, pay stub. Uh, this is what, uh, when I said you're going to learn something new, I learned something new. So we see this is his salary. I'm, I'm loosely translating this. Those of you who uh, speak German are going to get a lot out of it. But he did get a... Um, he did get a housing allowance, so this is his base pay. He got a housing allowance. He also got some reimbursement for expenses. That would probably be lunch uh, when he's on the job. He had to stop and get uh, donuts and coffee, and there was a reimbursement for those expenses. And down here you see kinder, which for having a child, so he had children or a child, that's added onto his pay. So all of this is added onto his pay. There is one reduction right here of $20, not just says there was a deduction. Um, and so after all these add-ons, there is his salary. Again, he works in the crime lab. He has, a, he has a criminal badge and he's qualified to work in this headquarters. And then we see they take out taxes. This is the part that I found fascinating. Now, I don't want to say that our government is worse than the Nazis. I would never say that. But if you look at what they deducted, there's his, uh, his taxes, deductions, withholding, uh, all that. Of course, they didn't have Social Security, but those are all the deductions. And you'll notice they took out less than 10%. I kind of feel like I'm getting robbed. Here you are. Uh, by the way, this is near the end of the war. Best I can tell, this is November of 1944, and this badge was up until the end of 1944, and he did get an extension. Here you can see the 1st of January, 1945. Basically, it says until June of 1945. He got a six-month extension to this uh, right, to, uh, right to carry. By the way, this also, in here it says he has the right to carry a gun and ammunition and to go to a local dealer and buy guns or ammo. Uh, so he was qualified to do that. And so this is like a carry permit. And then this is an extension until June. Now we know that he didn't need it until June because they surrendered. And that, actually that part of uh, Germany, I think, surrendered in, in April. So he was all done in April, but this was his identity badge to carry a weapon and to carry this criminal police disc. And now let's get back to this. And uh, there's his pay and less than 10% paid to the government. And the point I was gonna make, this is toward the end of the war. 
Um, you would think the economy is really bad and they needed to raise all the taxes they possibly could and yet he paid less than 10% in taxes. Have you looked at your paycheck lately? I'll bet you're paying a lot more than that. Here's a disc that's even rarer than the Gestapo disc. This is actually, again, Don Bible uh, did an evaluation as this is all original. This is a Prussian a criminal police disc. This was from an earlier period, or when Hitler first came to power, so 34 to 37 is when they used them, but then they were recalled and, and melted down uh, by order of Heinrich Himmler when he decided to merge all the different police criminal units into the SS. So this was merged into the SS, they were issued new discs, and these were generally destroyed. However, as you can see, this one survived the war. So I'm just showing it to you because it's, it's one of the rarest discs and almost never seen. Actually, this is the first one that I've ever seen. Okay, I'm sure you learned something because I know I did. I had a little bit of fun with that. I hope you don't take me too literally and say that I, I think our government is worse than the Nazis. I just don't like paying taxes. I did a short on this one already, a short which is just a 60 second. That was more of a teaser. I, uh, this one is already sold, but this one we will be listing on the site soon. These are not something that I collect. I find them fascinating, but Whenever I can get uh, rare collectibles like this in, I like to pass them along to those of you who do collect. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel because I have some really cool things to show you.